Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning my song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty God, in three persons, blessed Trinity. Good morning, God bless you, and I welcome you a beautiful Friday morning, TGIF. And by the grace of God, it's the 14th day of June 2024. God has been so good, and will return all the glory to the Lord forever. This morning in Jesus, I'll be looking at Galatians chapter 1, verse 23 and verse 24. The Bible says, For thee and had also that he which persecuted us in time past now preacheth the faith which once he destroyed. Very important, verse 24, and the glorified God in me. Remember, uh, there's a connection between these two verses. The Bible says they heard, they heard, they heard the testimony about Paul the Apostle. And that which they heard led to them giving glory to the name of the Lord. In life, there are three things or maybe two or three things that people will always observe about you. Number one, what they are able to see. Hallelujah. What they are able to see. Uh, based on them observing you directly, either if they have close contact with you or they are seeing you from afar, what they are able to see. By that, that will tell them if they can give glory to God on your behalf. Or number two is what they have heard about you. Maybe they heard it from you directly or they heard it from a different individual. And number three ways that people can access you is the testimonies about others as it relates to you, your behavior, your disposition, your character. Now, what people can see, what people can hear, and what people can hear about you indirectly from the lips of others. Now, you can't deny what people say because when people see you, they can make conclusion about you. When people heard you, they can make conclusion about you. But the most one that people have always argued about is when people hear you from a third party. As much as I know that sometimes third party reports about you might be biased, depends on where you are hearing it from. But this is what I have to say though. But if 20 people are saying the same thing, then I do not think that those 20 people are wrong. Especially if those 20 people are never related. Number one, maybe five people from your church. Number two, three people from your family. Number four, and number three, uh, six people from your job place. And three people from the laundromat uh, that have no connection with any other person. And finally, where you live. Now, if they combine all of these people together, maybe they have a way of communicating with you, observing you, seeing you, hearing from you. If 20 people come up with one singular report about you, and that report is not good, and that report is not giving glory to God, and you are still there fighting with all of them that they are wrong, then something definitely is wrong with you. Why? Because these 20 people, they are not related. So there's no way the spirit from your village would have announced you to 20 of 20 unrelated people to have said the same thing about you. Let's bring that up, up to one thing this morning. Now, what is your testimony about Christ? That's the question. What can people see in you? The way you talk, the way you behave, the way you carry yourself, do they look at you and say, to God be the glory? How about pride or humility? Which one are you exuding or exhibiting? Do people see you and see complete definition of humility and they say, ah, man, I want to be humble like you. Do people see the way you talk and they are like saying, oh, I want to be a man and one that can release such gracious words like you. What is the testimony of others about you? Remember, based on what these people heard, the Bible said they gave glory to God in the life of Paul. What are people giving to God through your life? 
Are they saying, if this is what Christianity is all about, I better die as a non-believer? Is that what people are saying? Are people saying, now, are you sure you are going to church? I need to even talk to your pastor to know what kind of message is preaching to somebody like you with all this terrible behavior. Is that what people are saying about you? Or are you that individual that people are saying, ah, even though I don't know what the Bible is, but I can read the Bible through your life. Even though I don't know what they are preaching to you in your church, but from the way you are living and talking and behaving, I already have a good description of how and what you are being taught. Do you know that even people that are not even believers, the moment they know you are a Christian and you act in a kind of a weird way, the first thing they will ask you, is that what your pastor is preaching to you? Hallelujah. Why? Because they believe that everyone that goes to church always hear the truth that will change their life and their character. So this morning, examine yourself. If your life, your lips, and your letters, if you are not giving glory to God, I need you to change and repent this morning. And the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you this morning for the life of every living soul you are preserved to hear the sound of my voice. King of glory, I'm asking this morning for grace. Grace to reflect you within and without. Grace to reflect who you are in us to others. Release that grace upon every hearer this morning in the name of Jesus. Now be blessed, now be favored, now be sustained. The hand of the Lord is upon you to ensure that this day favors you on every side. I command abundance and increase on you and yours. As you make Jesus proud today, his glory will be seen in your life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.